I'm Belinda Shi. Welcome to another episode of my photography tips. Today I'm in the middle of a hike and I'm carrying my camera bag with all my equipment with me and I thought it might be a good idea to show you what I normally carry on a hike or on a trip and uh, also what are the considerations you should have when choosing your own camera bag. Number one, weight and size. When you are in the field as a landscape photographer, every single pound, every extra pound matters. Um, this screw bag uh, plus the medium slope ICU from F-stop um, total weighs around 3.5 pounds. And my previous bag, timber bag, is, uh, I'm only talking about empty weight, okay? My timber bag, which is also the smallest size, is 6.2 pounds. So it's kind of like a half the weight. Of course, if you're a big guy, like if you're 200 pounds, maybe like a three pounds versus six pounds on you at the back doesn't really matter. But after you hike for four or five hours, I guarantee you every single pound matters. And uh, I feel much more comfortable, you know, reducing this three extra pounds right now on my back. And I'm very happy. The second important thing is material. You want to choose a camera bag with uh, rain, uh, rainproof, waterproof, or weatherproof material. My last trip, uh, two and a half months road trip last year, I have encountered thunderstorm uh, very, very often. And um, to have a waterproof material um, camera bag gives you definitely gives you peace of mind. Now, the third thing obviously is the functionality. Uh, from uh, my other videos, you probably know that I'm, I always emphasize pro productivity efficiency. When how you pack your backpack, um, you need to think about what exactly you need to grab first, what exactly you need to grab second. Uh, for example, in this um, Guru F-Stop camera bag, I can fit my two camera bodies, my 7D, uh, my 5D Mark II fits here. Right now it's recording this video. My three lenses. This is my most often used landscape lens, wide angle 16 to 35 millimeters. My medium range zoom lens, 24 to 70 uh, Canon 2.8. And my telescope lens, 70 to 200, uh, 2.8. And I have taken out this pouch that I lay on top of my telescope lens, which I included a number of stuff, uh, extra batteries. I typically bring four batteries with me on a trip. Uh, two batteries are in the cameras, two camera bodies, and two batteries are extra. Uh, typically, uh, in my own experience, uh, one battery can last easily last two to three days. Even uh, you are photographing like a 200 to 300 pictures a day, um, unless you are in very nasty weather conditions such as you know minus 20 degrees, um, and uh, you need to have uh, enough backup back batteries for you in the field. Wireless remote control shutter. I have the other two pieces. So this side goes into your camera, this side goes um, with your hand. I'm not going to talk too much detail about remote control, but uh, I have um, carried two sets with me because I typically off, uh, operate two cameras side by side in the field. Uh, I have two sets of tripod. Yeah, I like to operate two cameras at the same time and to photograph the same scene but with very different style of pictures at the same time. And I also have extra batteries. These uh, AAA batteries are the backup batteries for the remote control and I'm going to show you the head uh, flashlight also uses the same uh, AAA batteries. So I typically carry like, you know, four to eight extra batteries like this in the field. So make sure that I always have the power with me. And I have um, this uh, 
special tool for the camera's L plate. I have L plate uh, ready, to, ready right stuff for both my 7D and 5D Mark III. Um, to tighten up the L plate, you need special tool. I also carry uh, lubricant for uh, ball head, for tripod. Uh, you probably don't need this if your trip is uh, short. When I have my two and a half months national park road trip last year and I noticed that my tripod, uh, ball head and tripod sometimes get um, stuck, you know, so you need to put extra oil. And um, lens cleaning cloth. Now, back to the camera bag. The ICU is completely empty. As I mentioned, think about the workflow when you pack your camera bag. Uh, it's obviously most important when you go out shooting. Uh, camera and lenses are most important. And then I have uh, the uh, remote control shutter release with me uh, with the camera and the lenses because I know that in during sunrise, sunset, uh, dim the light situation, uh, at some point uh, during the twilight, I have to uh, use a, a shutter um, time more than 30 seconds. So I definitely need to have the remote control with me and it will be mounted on the camera, okay, as a second step. And now the third, that's why I carry uh, these most important stuff together in the same pocket. And now the second important pocket is my middle pocket, which I include uh, extra uh, Gloves when a head flashlight. It's quite important to have flashlight with you after sunset shooting or before sunrise shooting. Uh, typically, you know you're walking in the darkness, so uh, you want to free your hands to do more important stuff. This is the tripod collar for the large uh, 70 to 200 millimeters uh, telescope lens. Now, as I mentioned, the second important step for landscape photography after mounting my lens and shutter uh, control, I am going to typically mount the uh, uh, filters. So I have recently bought this from Amazon. Uh, it's a, a pretty simple organizer, and um, it, it, it's. Uh, I mean, I recently got it, so I haven't tested it for a long time yet. But I wanted to have both my lens filter adapters and filters together. And but unfortunately, the my Lee filter um, adapter kit. Um, doesn't have a large enough pocket that includes everything. So this is something I bought um, that can fit everything together. Okay, these are the Lee neutral density filters. And it's important to always have uh, lens cleaning uh, fiber cloth with you. And this is a uh, brush that also I use to clean the lens. Now, you can see that from my workflow, as I mentioned, I pack all the most important stuff together in the uh, back uh, ICU and my filter stuff in the middle pocket. So I don't need to fumble around in the field when I need to get access to the most important equipment. This is an extra pocket I don't use very often, but I have a whole bunch of backup stuff like pens, keys, extra uh, CF cards, um, extra lens cleaning brush or lens cleaning cloth, uh, tissue paper. You definitely don't need the, those uh, on a daily basis. But it's nice to always have an extra pocket so you can put extra, like, you know, a light jacket or sweater in it. Of course, 
extra pocket. I carry a uh, rain jacket for the camera bag. This actually comes with my last camera bag, which is a Timba uh, brand. Uh, I like my last camera bag a lot as well, but I've been using it for over four years. It definitely gets wear and tear. I have given a very quick overview of how I carry my equipment in the camera bag with the consideration of your workflow, with the consideration of the productivity. So I hope this is helpful for you to organize your own equipment in the field. Well, the fourth most important factor for you to choose a camera bag is comfort. I would say this side matters more than any other side of the bag. What I find uh, the design of the bag, um, how it fits with your bag, uh, how comfortable you feel uh, uh, absolutely uh, matters. When you choose your camera bag, just to put it on your back and then see how it fits with your own back and whether the strap rests well on your waist. Um, and I'm, I don't really care. Uh, about the other side, of course, you know, I'm a woman, I do care about the look and feel of the camera bag, the colors, um, but it really is not the most important thing. As a landscape photographer, if you go to the field and, you know, maybe after a couple of days, your bag will look dirty and muddy. This is the fourth camera bag I have owned. And all the other camera bags open on this side, okay? So when you are in the field as a landscape photographer, you can already control how clean the ground is, whether this is muddy, it's, uh, it's wet, and there's water. And if you lay your camera bag like this, um, when you pick up the camera bag, and you are just not so comfortable wearing a muddy side right at your back. So um, that's why I really wanted to emphasize it's uh, really important to think about whether you are comfortable to uh, have your camera back clink on your back or not. So uh, it, it, the functionality, uh, material, um, size, weight, and the comfort are the four most important things I wanted to introduce in this video. And hopefully it can help you to make a better decision to choose the right camera back for you. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to sign up belindashi.com.